this yacht tour video, I'm going to show you around most yachts only now. Built by Tansu Yachts in Turkey, only now launched in 2012 and underwent a significant refit in 2021. This refit, costing over 750,000 euros, included updates like a new 35,000 euro audio system and a karaoke machine. In this video, we'll explore the features that contributed to its World Super Yacht Award in 2013, including its design, amenities, and the unique spaces that make Only Now stand out in the charter market. Join me to see why Only Now could be the setting for your next sea adventure. One thing that you'll notice straight away are her military-esque style lines, giving only now a distinctive and commanding presence on the water. At 198 gross tons and stretching to 34.6 meters, that's 113 feet and five inches, with a beam of 7.5 meters, she combines size with agility. But it's not just about luxury and style, performance is key. With a top speed of 21 knots, only now isn't just fast for the sake of it. This speed is a significant advantage for charter guests. Faster cruising speeds mean you can move between your chosen destinations more swiftly, making the most out of every moment of your charter. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I cannot wait to show you around this beautiful Tansu only now. This is a really special boat and I can't wait to show you some of the features. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and also please make sure you stay tuned because I've got some very exciting news that I can't wait to share with you. I'll be sharing that later on in the video. So join me as I take you around this beautiful boat. Let's start off the yacht tour on the spacious swim platform of Only Now. With its high-low platform, this area is not just a launch pad for your aquatic adventures, it's a gateway to the sea. With excellent access to the water, it's perfect for everyone, from the avid swimmer to the adventurous diver. Only Now is a great boat for water sports enthusiasts, regardless of skill, level or experience, offering a variety of activities that cater to both adrenaline seekers and those looking for more leisurely pursuits. Let's now use the port staircase to ascend to the spacious aft section of the deck. Of course, there is another staircase on the starboard side as well. Up here, we find a great area for lounging in the sun and relaxing with your friends and family. As you can see, there is plenty of seating space here with a sofa, table and an area for relaxing in the sun. The overhang from the huge sun deck also ensures that there are plenty of shaded areas when you want to avoid that midday sun. Moving forward past the seating area, we arrive at one of the boat's alfresco dining areas. This table is big enough to accommodate eight guests and ensures that you won't be buffeted by the wind while at anchor while enjoying the view. Before I show you around the upper deck of Only Now, let's head forward and spin around 180 degrees so I can show you the setup of this area. As we pan around aft, note also the central island located between the dining and seating areas, thoughtfully equipped with a cupboard for crockery and other essentials. Now that we have finished having a look around this spacious and elegant area, let me take you forward up to the bow. One of the things to point out as we walk forward along this starboard side deck is just how wide these side decks are, but also something else you immediately notice is just how high the bulwarks are as well. If you're gonna be chartering this boat and you've got young children with you, you can feel safe in the knowledge that these incredibly high and sturdy bulwarks are gonna keep your precious little ones nice and safe. Whilst filming, the captain was positioning the boat, so you will hear that powerful bow thruster kick in. This is a great area to come and relax, wind down, and just take some time out from it all. If you want to, you can have this area to yourself, whilst enjoying some nice sundowners. And let's face it, what can be better than sitting up here, listening to your favorite music, thanks to the impressive speaker system on board, as you watch the sun slowly disappear from view. I like the fact that this foredeck also has a canopy for optional shaded areas. And here's where we get a first glimpse of that huge sun deck. What a fantastic place to come and sit down and relax as you enjoy a sundowners with your favorite people. If I come and step up here, 
I can show you the view that you can expect. I mean, look at that, absolutely spectacular. What a place to come and relax. An interesting fact about Only Now is that her hull and superstructure are made from wood. Tansu Yachts employs a unique cold molded construction for their wooden hulls using a composite of epoxy and fiberglass. This technique enhances the yacht in several ways. It adds exceptional strength and rigidity, making the yacht durable and resistant to damage. Additionally, it provides rot resistance by creating a watertight barrier, thereby increasing the boat's longevity. The process also allows for a smooth exterior finish, improving the yacht's aesthetics and offers design flexibility, enabling more complex hull shapes compared to traditional wooden boat building methods. As we enter the large saloon, we find a great area for unwinding after an action-packed day of exploring and enjoying the water sports. The huge windows in the saloon create a panoramic vista that transforms your surroundings into a live, almost cinematic experience, enveloping guests in the breathtaking beauty of their surroundings. For the next part of this yacht tour, I'm going to take you down into the accommodation areas but not before first checking out this impressive day head. I've got to say as well, as I step into this day head, I mean, check out that view. Have you seen a day head on a boat with a better view than that? Because I absolutely have not. Standard salute. As mentioned during my introduction, Only Now is an award-winning motor yacht. At the 2013 World Super Yacht Awards, she took the title for Best Two Deck Semi Displacement or Planing Motor Yacht. So, first of all, I'm going to head forward and show you around the VIP cabin. As you would expect, it is a full beam cabin. There's plenty of headroom in here as well. Really nice, airy, open space. A really nice feel to it. Lots of places to stow all your gear. Over here, we've got the controls, including the temperature control as well. So if you're like me and you like to sleep in a fridge, you can really wind down that air conditioning when you're motoring around somewhere nice and hot. Got a TV over there on the bulkhead. So you can wake up in the morning, watch a bit of TV before getting up and doing whatever it is you decide to do whilst you're on board or in the evening as well. You can sit down and relax and watch a bit of TV whilst I'm winding plenty of storage space i've got lots of hanging wardrobe space on the starboard side and over here on the port side i really love this indirect lighting in this recessed area so we've got two portholes over here on the port side which can be opened up for additional fresh air if that's what you want and of course we've got two portholes over there on the starboard side as well nice big mirror there emergency exit up there but yeah there's plenty of headroom down here but it's a very bright and airy space really really enjoyable space more storage in there let's head into the ensuite again a very spacious ensuite obviously we've got the toilet over there uh, with the sink and the mirror more indirect lighting around the floor as well but check this out, how's this for a shower? Really, really nice detail, really well appointed. There's plenty of space in here. You can put all your toiletries over there. If you decide to sit down and have a shower or stand up, the choice is yours. I've got a detachable shower there, as well as the rain head overhead as well. Let's shut that. Now let me take you into the first of two twin single cabins. Let's start off with the one that is over here on the starboard side. Again, we've got two large portholes over there. You can open them up, allow fresh air into the area. And of course, you've got some blinds that you can put down as well if you want to get some shut eye during the day. If you've been up all night and you want to get some sleep during the day, you can do that. Nice single berths, plenty of room in here. So whether you're going to have kids on board or adults, plenty of space. You've got storage underneath each of the berths with some additional storage 
over here. And again, look, you've got your individual temperature control. Probably heard my knees clicking there, uh, as well as the controls to the lights. But yeah, I can imagine what this area is like in the evening with all this indirect lighting when it's all nice and lit up. You've got a TV over there on the bulkhead, storage space over here, and let's head into this ensuite, which again, the theme, as you can see throughout the boat in terms of the accommodation areas, is incredibly, incredibly high quality. Really, really nice look and feel. I'll be happy spending weeks, months on here. I really would. So you've got a large shower here. Probably fit a couple of people in there if you want to have a shower at the same time so you're ready for your meal that's going to be cooked up. I'll shut that door. Big size sink. Oh, it's got the vanity mirror and some more storage underneath the sink. And look at that, another view here. Beautiful. And check out that view whilst you're underway. Absolutely love it. Okay, so let's take you over onto the other twin single cabin, which is on the port side before I take you into the master cabin. Let's head back aft and then we'll swing a right over here. So we're in the port twin single cabin now. Again, it's pretty much the same layout as the one on the starboard side. Plenty of headroom down here. It's nice and quiet. So as you can see, we're underway at the moment. And if I stop talking for a couple of seconds, you can hear, you can't hear the machinery at all. So yeah, let's go into the ensuite. There we go again, very nice ensuite, really, really nice finish. Your port high over there, plenty of space to put all your toiletries, a big sink, another mirror, another vanity mirror over there, more storage underneath. And of course, let's have a look at the shower. I am a bit of a shower aficionado, so I do know a good shower when I see one. And this is fantastic. All the water obviously just drain away through there. So yeah, that's the shower. Right, now let me take you into the master cabin, full beam master cabin. As you probably tell, we're gonna head to the stern of the boat now. So in terms of when you're underway, if you do happen to be navigating through the choppy stuff whilst you're on board, uh, then this position in terms of where the master cabin is located will afford you extra stability in terms of the fuel, just because of where it is on the boat. But you can see over here, we've got a seating area. So when you get up in the morning with your coffee, you can sit down there, have a plan in your mind what you want to do for the day. Again, let's have a look out the portholes. What an amazing view. Again, it's so quiet in here. Really, really, really quiet. A massive bed. Look at the size of that bed. There's some storage underneath, some storage on either side, but individual Climate controls as well, again, obviously, for the master cabin. And over here, we've got a vanity area and also an office area, really. So if you're on board and you need to catch up with some work emails, you do have really good Wi-Fi connectivity on board, so you can plant yourself there, get your laptop out, and do whatever it is you need to do before getting on with enjoying the day. And over here, we've got two portholes as well. Look at that beautiful jet. Can you imagine doing a tour on that? Let me know if you think I should start doing jet tours. I must admit, I'm a keen amateur aviation enthusiast, so yeah, that would be quite an experience. But yeah, I mean, this is a really, really nice space. Lots of headroom, lots of natural light coming in here. Really, really well appointed. Just a fantastic feel. Again, you could spend a long time in here, you know? If you wanted to spend a week, two weeks, a month on board, this really would feel like a home from home. So, as you would expect with the master cabin, you've got a large walk-in wardrobe here. So you're definitely not gonna run out of space in terms of bringing on the clothes that you need for your voyage on board. Got some more storage down there as well. Okay, let's take you into the ensuite. And one of the things I love about this ensuite is also full beam. So you have a 
his and hers arrangement. You have one of you over here on the starboard side getting ready for your night of entertainment and delectable food. A sink over there, more storage underneath, another large mirror. Again, we've got another porthole. Here out there, you see the coast of Antibes. What a beautiful place. I've just come from England where it's pretty much been raining for the last three months, so you can imagine how happy my body is to get some much needed vitamin D. Uh, let's move into the shower. As you see, you can access the shower from both the port and the starboard side. Got a detachable hand shower over there on the bulkhead, and also we've got the rain shower up there. Let's step in here. And yeah, you could definitely fit two pillow people in here. During the yacht's extensive refit, she received an upgrade with sleek high gloss panelling and inviting warm oak flooring. I felt like I was on board a brand new boat, which is a testament to the crew's meticulous detail and hard work. Let's now move over onto the port side. Again, it's an asymmetrical arrangement on here. So what we found on the starboard side is pretty much what we're gonna find on the port side as well. Really nice use of indirect lighting. So in the evening when you come down to relax and unwind, having spent your day doing your water sports on board, enjoying the sea, you can come down here and enjoy the ambiance that's created thanks to the indirect lighting and just the overall feel that you experience when you're in here. Having explored the luxurious accommodations, let's move up to the bridge. By the way, in summer 2024, only now we'll be exploring the French Riviera and Italy from April through early June. The journey continues to the Ionian Islands and Corfu in mid-June, followed by Athens and the Cyclades in July. August sees a yacht sailing between Athens, Greece and Turkey, with a final leg in September to October exploring Turkey and the Cyclades. For updated itinerary details and discover how you can embark on this luxury sea adventure, please follow the link in the video description to get in touch. So now we have made it into the pilot's house, who better to show us around than Captain Jason, who took a few minutes of his time to quickly show us some of the equipment up here. A big thanks for your time, Jason. I appreciate it. So here we are with Captain Jason, and he's going to spend a couple of minutes just showing us around what we've got on the helm station, starting from over on the port side, if we can, please, Jason. Sure. Got our classic Navitex, two VHF, our generator port side um, controls, our uh, ST70 for the Raymarine general uh, info. Yeah. We got our port side uh, Caterpillar uh, engine controls. Um, we run our uh, our uh, turret plotter on this. Um, that Raymarine screen here. Normally. Yep. We got our four kilowatt um, uh, radar on this screen. Yep. Our 12 kilowatt radar on the starboard screen. Yeah. Then we got our uh, starboard engine controls for the cats. Yep. Then we got uh, starboard uh, generator controls here. Then we got our, our our cameras for the engine room. And then we got our aft and starboard side, port side cameras. And what a great view you get as well in terms of it's captain in the boat. What a fantastic view. The size of those windows is just really, really breathtaking. It's really ideal. It's so much better than kind of the Italian slanted windows. Yeah, absolutely. Where we don't get any deformation and uh, we don't get the heat coming in also. I guess as well, you're not getting any glare off any of the equipment. I mean, it's a sunny day today. Uh, you know, it's, the sun is at the, more or less the highest point, but it, when you look on here, you can't see any glare at all. Uh, exactly, exactly. That's why on the commercial ships, you'll see them slanted like that going backwards. Yeah. And it's not of that uh, type, but it's in that genre. Yeah, absolutely. Jason, look, I'm going to let you carry on captaining the boat. Thanks for your time. No worries, pleasure. If we spin around and look behind the helm station, we also find an area that is used as the ship's office as well. Let's head over to the pool site and see what's happening over there. So we've actually got the drone up at the moment as well. And here we have our professional videographer getting some fantastic shots. Look at that. Right, we spot the drone up there somewhere. Okay, let's head back aft. Before I show you around the engine room, I want to take you up to the vast sun deck, which is one of my favorite features on board only now. 
with its backlit Onyx Bar upgraded 35,000 euro sound system, karaoke setup and three captain's sports fishing chairs. You will see why so many of this boat's charter guests love this area. It even has its very own rotating oversized waterproof cinema TV for movie nights under the stars. This outdoor area that you're about to see really does rival that of larger yachts. Just quickly, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Now, one of the things that really stands out to me in terms of this space is the fact that you've almost got this sun deck running the whole length of the boat, which for a boat of this size is really unusual. You get so much space up here. Let's start aft. Obviously over here on the uh, port side, we've got a jet ski. Fantastic sea do there. It's been a while since I've been on a jet ski, but I would love to take this out. Got a seating or lounging area over here. You can sit back and relax. Obviously we've got the crane that can lift not just one jet ski, there's a couple of jet skis on that boat, on this boat, uh, and they can obviously quickly be put in the water. 650 kilogram lifting limit on that. And also look at this, what a place to sit and relax. You could get, you know, several people on here just enjoying the sun. Of course, if you want to, then that can be removed. So you can literally expose yourself to the midday sun. Unlike me, if you're a bit of a sun dodger because you're fair skin, I'd probably be under there in the shade. But look at this as well. Almost got these sports fishing type chairs here. At the bar, we've got three of them. We've got backlit onyx here as well. So again, at night, you can just imagine what this would look like up here. Absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got the serving area over here. This serving area has a sink, ice maker and fridge freezer. For me, this large sun deck is the perfect staging area for hosting impromptu parties as you navigate your way through an endless supply of cocktails on board. This is another feature that I absolutely love about this space. So you can probably see, if I show you around there, that something's going to protrude out of there, and that would be a telly. So you could turn this into a bit of an open air cinema, really. Let's go and sit on here. Have another look at that bow, that beautiful bow, look at that. But yeah, if you're going to sit here, for sundowners, instead of sitting on the bow, you can sit back, oh yeah, relax, and take in the view whilst watching one of your favorite films, or enjoying some snacks or your meal. Coming up here, what a great place to sit and have your meal, because if I show you and pan around the view you get, look at that, absolutely stunning. I really think I need to move my wife and two children to Antibes. I feel like I found my spiritual home here. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, I know I've already said it, but I've got to say it again. I have not seen this much open deck space on a boat with this LOA. They did an absolutely outstanding job uh, when this boat went through its refit. You know, they spent 750,000 uh, euros, I believe, uh, in just two years ago, actually. So I extended this area, and you can really see the benefit of that in terms of the amount of the space you get, and also what you can do with the space as well. You know, you can intermix. You could be relaxing here, enjoying the sun, or relaxing aft, enjoying the sun, whilst at the same time enjoying a book up forward there, and enjoying a cocktail or 10 whilst sat here. But yeah, really, really beautiful space. Obviously, we've got the uh, life rafts up here as well, one on the starboard outboard side and one over there on the port side as well. Now that we've finished having a look around the interior and exterior spaces, let's head down to the engine room. Unfortunately, the galley and crew accommodation were in use at the time of filming, so I couldn't get in those areas. Only now is powered by twin CAT C32 engines. Each engine produces 1,700 horsepower at 2,300 RPM, propelling the yacht to a cruising speed of 13 knots and a maximum speed of 21 knots. The CAT C32 is known for its high horsepower ratings. This powerhouse can deliver up to 2,400 horsepower in certain configurations, making it perfect for large yachts like only now. These engines are designed to operate reliably in the most demanding marine environments, 
thanks to robust components and Caterpillar's advanced Acer technology. These engines meet some of the most stringent emission standards, including IMO Tier 2, EU Stage 3A and EPA Tier 3, reflecting Caterpillar's commitment to eco-friendly solutions without, of course, compromising on performance. As mentioned earlier on in the video, this boat has a top speed of an impressive 21 knots, which is roughly about 24 miles per hour. When it comes to a cruising speed, then she can cruise through the ocean at 13 knots. She burns between 200 and 380 litres an hour and is fitted with two 40kW generators. I hope you've enjoyed this yacht tour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're interested in chartering this beautiful boat, then guess what? I can help you charter this vessel. That's right, I can help you charter this boat. If you wanna get in touch with me, ask me any questions, feel free to do so. You'll find all of my contact details in the video description. Send me a message, if you've got any questions, I'll answer them. But yeah, this is such a beautiful boat and such a great location as well. Um, I think if you charter this boat with your friends or your family, you are almost guaranteed an impeccable time. So thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to give the video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.